Good evening, ladies. Are you all ready for your male stripper? Sexy cop couldn't be here tonight, but we've got something more mysterious. Let's welcome sexy white guy who's too old to be working in a coffee shop. Oh, he's grabbing his French press and he's pushing that tamp. So, what's his deal? He's like 15 years older than the other baristas. Do you think he went to jail? Uh-oh, now he's wiping up the coffee bar because it's wet and sticky. He's not even a manager, but he seems to like his job. Like, really like it. So, what's up? Oh, he ditched the towel. This could only mean one thing. It's time for his double vape break. That's right, two fucking vapes at once. Oh, now he's having a loud fight on the phone with his girlfriend. But as soon as he's off, he's back to serving you. You're gonna think about this weirdo for the rest of your fucking life. Hey, how are you? Good, good. No, I just had some free time, so I thought I'd give you a call. Yeah, I just had some time that was free, you know? Some, some free time, some... Time that was mine, you know? I thought I'd call you, see how you're doing. Um, anyway, so uh, are you still, uh, are you still working at that place? What? They let you go? Why? Well, did you tell them that the fire was an accident? Oh, it wasn't. I forgot that that's that thing you do. Oh, well, what about, um, what about that girl? Weren't you seeing a girl? What happened to her? Oh, I'm sorry, man. No, no, I, I didn't see it on Facebook or anything like that. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, was there a wake or anything? No way, I wouldn't have gone, but I would have sent something, you know? Uh, what was that thing she was, like, super into? What was it? Was it was it knitting? Heroin, that's right. Oh, well, I knew it was needles. Yeah, man, well, like I said, I just wanted to call and, and, and see how you're doing. Hey, can you hold on one second? Alva Grande Frappuccino, double blended, no whip. Thank you so much. You got the name on it? Chud? Everybody dance! Do the pencil sharpener. That's the pencil sharpener. Do the shopping cart. That's the shopping cart. Do the mailbox. Karen, uh, she says she's leaving. She's taking the kids. Well, I'd like to see her try. That's the mailbox! Are you kidding me? There's nothing I'd rather do with my Saturday than drive a group of Christian teens on a retreat. Now we can start singing him soon, but first I gotta get off the highway, because right now I need to concentrate. Ah, it's a beautiful day. I love days like today. Just like I love this guy right here, trying to fuck me! Oh, you don't want to let me in the lane? You just want to fuck me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for fucking me. Thank you. I love it. Thank you, Daddy. Thanks for the Hey, what's everyone's favorite worship song, huh? My favorite is Awesome God. I know, I know, everyone loves Awesome God, but I like the second verse. Just like I like this guy who's back to fuck me again. Oh, oh, you're back for more? Well, you woke my ass up and it's hungry. It's hungry, daddy. Oh, I love it when you fuck me. I oh, 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 you're driving away? Oh, you're all done? Oh, oh no, I didn't even get mine. Oh, daddy, come back. Anytime, cause I'm your little fuck baby. Hey, what's everyone's favorite food, huh? Pizza or pizza? <laughs> I love pizza. Just like I love this guy who's bad to fuck 
me again. Brian, hold the wheel. Oh, oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. I miss you. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck my little butt. Fuck my butt. Bye. Thank you, Brian, for holding the wheel. Oh, I hit a kid. Well, hey, everybody. I'm Mark Wahlberg. I'm super excited to be here to promote Transformers Age of Extinction's release on DVD and Blu-ray. Now, I know you got a lot of questions, so go ahead and ask them. Oh, what's that? Well, very good question. What was the hardest scene of this movie for me to shoot? I'd say it's a toss-up between the scene where we're running from the Decepticons or the scene where two characters have a long conversation about how their relationship is not statutory rape. Okay, next question. Oh, what's that? Well, very good question. Yes, this is a real scene from Transformers Age of Extinction. It's over a minute long, and you can find it on YouTube. In the scene, I confront my 17-year-old daughter's 20-year-old boyfriend and accuse him of statutory rape. Then he informs me that he and my daughter's relationship is protected in the state of Texas under the Romeo and Juliet laws. Okay, next question. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's the question. The Romeo and Juliet laws as explained in a Transformers movie, are a set of laws that protect minors who begin dating as minors, but one no longer is. Now you might think that after this explanation is given, the movie goes back to the story of Optimus Prime and the Autobots. But no, instead, Michael Bay has the 20 year old pull a laminated copy of the law from his wallet and hold it up to the camera so that the language is clearly visible and seconds of a multi-million dollar movie are devoted to showing America this law. Michael Bay seems super interested in understanding all of the gray areas of statutory rape law and making sure his audience knew them too. Okay, next question. Oh, what's that? Oh, very good question. His name is Bumblebee. Well, look at that. I gotta go. I'm all out of time. I gotta go film Michael Bay's newest film, Transformers and the Legal Marriage Between a 40-Year-Old Man and a 16-Year-Old Girl Pending Her Parents' Consent.